Hi all, my name is Vinod Snap. Uh, I am from NMIT. Today I want to discuss about network monitoring tool that is known as TOOR, which is not only a network monitoring tool, but which can also manage the entire network. So there are so many features in this dude. So you can see here it's a network. Uh, coming to here, uh, you can see local server uh, on which the dude server dude software is being installed, and we can operate it. You can see the status of the local server is green in color, which indicates that it's up. You can change the status by choosing any of the option here. That it is, it can be uh, seen all time or only when local client is running or as a service. You can see the taskbar here. So uh, this is a um, grabbing tool and this is a pointer tool. It's just used for grabbing uh, and to point some tools or to manage or to modify. And uh, this is a, a line. Uh, this link is used as for lining the particular uh, network devices. And this is known as arc tool. You can arc the particular network devices which you want to do it. You can see here, uh, you can split the screen. Suppose if, if I do this, you can split it into two or three or four, depending upon the network monitoring you want to do or network you require uh, for monitoring on uh, both or all the regarding areas you want to monitor. Say suppose in one thing you want to monitor a different task, so you can split the screen as it is. Coming back again. So, now this is this is known as address list. Uh, this is a list of IP addresses to be used in block list and other places. Hey, suppose uh, you want to delete or you want to add any address list. You want to block any address list. You can uh, tap it here and you can uh, do it as apply and OK. Coming to admin. Uh, users who can access this particular root server uh, will be the admins. Uh, you can uh, add here also. So you can add some users who want to access this particular do server depending upon the authority or uh, privilege or high privilege or low privilege you can go only to particular um, some persons to monitor this particular network uh, whom uh, it is required adding the users here coming to the uh, charts you can see here the charts configure graphs uh, based on any data source in the map we can configure the charts based on any data source in the map uh, regarding these charts now coming to the devices list of all devices drawn any network per month can be found here so these are the list of devices here you can see 10.10.10.100 10 10 10 is our router here in this network and dc1 is the domain controller 1 and 2 dc is the domain controller 2 the ip addresses and these are the network devices uh, which are used in this uh, particular entire network design you can see the type it's a dns server and it's a dude server and it's a web server the maps local local so you can see uh, services down ping so these are uh, these are uh, different uh, first uh, suppose we can see that 172.10 1.0.15 here the service down is ping for this particular um, ip address you can see this uh, ping service is down you can uh, view all the particular status of the machine in this devices that are drawn in this, this network maps next is the files so this files is nothing but uh, this uh, indicates the total list of files uploaded to the server uh, in this server what are the list of files which are uploaded are seen here next coming to the functions double click functions uh, this includes scripts and advanced queries include uh, the scripts like and it's used for logical and you see the different scripts used here coming through history actions history of tasks performed by the admin like um, adding or removing devices or whatever the uh, so see so here you can see the server configuration changed on this particular so what are the history uh, what are the actions performed in this network it's uh, given in the history actions coming to the links list of all links in all maps can be seen in the links you can see simple local you can see what are the links used here coming to the logs logs of device uh, statuses uh, and i think it's like system log server and can receive logs from other devices too you can see the logs here 
you can create a log also depending on, depending upon the action debug event system logs you can, see, you can uh you see all the logs that user had been logged so what are the system so you can see the de detailed information of the logins and uh, everything you can see you can manage the network you can monitor the network you can do the modifications you can add the logs here so depending upon the security it's an important aspect of the logs that who is logging into the system can be known uh, from here then information about MIABS can be seen here network maps and all the maps and list of all network segment places on the map You can see the different MIBs here. A network map. You suppose uh, you want to change the background of the network, just like uh, it should be a grid, or say, suppose I'm choosing, uh, say, suppose if I choose a switch or laptop. Then I can see the background uh, is going to change as a laptop or printer. See, suppose I'm seeing the printer here. Okay. Then you can see here uh, going to the local. Background and the background will be changed. So when you're applying to that particular uh, uh, task known as. You choose the background uh, that is a grid so here it is a grid now you can choose anything none means that there is no grid or you can choose any color for this background it can be applied here so you notice coming to notifications the notifications is a uh, different ways to allow the admin that uh, whatever the notifications whether it is going to be beep flash log or log of events log pop-up so suppose a uh, system is going to be shut down uh, in few seconds then we can alert with a voice of beep so you can add uh, the type beep and you can apply you can set the timings also schedule so which time you want to alert this beep uh, regarding say suppose 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock you can set the timings and apply in it okay then uh, the beep sound will be indicating that whatever the function you want to do you can apply here and it uh, this is automatically the notification will be received it's a very useful tool and the notification part is very much uh, useful uh, to the users or uh, who are is uh, administering the entire network coming to uh, there are uh, so many uh, advantages here with this tool outages you can see uh, the status it's active duration device and service pinging you see everything the total uh, complete status is being changing the duration is being changing the device the details panels admin so coming to probes you can see probes what you are using the probe is uh, they are responsible for polling specific services on the devices okay. uh, you can see that such as uh, dns or disk or memory or ping or whatever the probe uh, how it is going to uh, specific uh, be used for the service on the device is being uh, shown there are different probes here the type you can see the type dns icmp snmp email for the so it's used for sending the emails or tcp or udp ports this, uh, in this way you can see the you can add also here you can add the probe you can uh, include any other probe and uh, apply or remove or you can block or anything else you can um, such as you can uh, nothing but you are going to manage the entire network and uh, by this actions or by this uh, some rules you can uh, not only the monitor so this is this is what the advantage in the tool is not only you can monitor the network but you can also manage the network you can see the service list the currently monitor services on all the devices you can see the list of services and you can see the each one the notifications the outages the history the two in the history we can see uh we can see the performance you can see it is indicated by the graph in detail 
if we have all these things in this way uh, we can manage the network and uh, uh, suppose initially while starting the software uh, they, they will be discovering uh, you can see here we can discover the network you can see here yeah, there are having the settings you go through the settings you can set a uh, polling you can set the polling the server and coming to the agent and the system log map chart report you can you can change the background colors the grid color or anything else you want to uh, make the chart or the graphics and the report the discoveries so default you are going to discover the name preferences the NSS and MP net voice or IP and router always so the router is uh, 100 and you can see uh, there are different MAC addresses also used here you can resemble the MAC addresses so you can apply you can okay and you are also you can uh, see the server configuration can be changed and the server configuration can be added or anything else can be managed from here in the door and coming to the settings here you see the appearance so here the background is uh, great now so now if i choose here now i want to choose a laptop if i go if i'm going to apply and say okay see how funny you see all the laptops in the place of it you can change the setting feature of this so again i'm looking at it's not a grid or laptop but it's none so apply and okay going to change it so coming to discover you can discover the subnet or scan the networks the specified networks are automatically actually when you are starting the door it automatically detects uh, the subnet uh, and it automatically detects the entire network and uh, specifically you want any other subnet or if you, if you specifically want to another network to block or either to represent or either to view on this network you can add here in the services what we are giving here or the thing or check or uncheck you can modify it the device type device the advanced features you can see here if you uh, discover it there are so so many subnets uh, you are going to discover here coming to tools you can see bandwidth test tool pp any other thing in this way uh, there are so many uh, services coming to see here uh, in this network we are having uh, two domain controllers two clients and one router and uh, internet and a VLAN switch so you can see the connections you can right click you can see how it is going to ping tools ping you can see the status of pinging here so you can see here the device is pinging the time the time taken to ping everything you can see here you can change you can modify you can add you can uh, find also the not only the ping you can find the trace route you can scan the remote connection you can also take the remote connection internet web and then there are so many features in this you can utilize everything uh, it is nothing but uh, suppose you are giving the trace route taking the path So in this way, uh, if we don't want any other device, you can just uh, remove, remove a particular uh, device or network. network. Make a notes, then we can remove. So suppose you want to see the ping status here. There is no ping status here. You can see that uh, it's uh, resembling the color is also a difference in off state or it's not connected. So always uh, here, here we can change the color also. Here I resemble the up state as red and the uh, total shadow state as uh, state as green. Sorry, and the uh, total shadow state as uh, red and uh, it's going off state. Is, uh, it's there. They are they cannot ping and only the continuation status is uh, going to ping here. In this way, we can check everything. So, this is being so. In this way, we can check the connectivity of the network, we can monitor the network, we can manage the network, we can add the devices, delete the devices, uh, add some rules, or block some IPs, or block some, and we can uh, change the admin users who want to monitor this dude or uh, take the action. 
in this way we can design this entire network if you want a um, detail i'll uh, make an another video regarding this too and thanks for watching this video thank you all